Kentucky. And representing Aloysio Silva, BJJ, Juan Silva. All right, here we go. All right, I'll try not to be biased here, but we've got John Silva well, against Mike Kanzaki. John's my coach, and I, from what I've seen from Mike, uh, from John, he only knows one speed. So let's see. And he's got vicious footlocks. Let's see how he does. He's not giving up. He's not giving up. But he's also... So he doesn't have the two points yet because he's going for the footlock. Once he lets go of that leg, he's got two points. So John's up by two points. That was impressive, both of them. Both of them had really tight toe holds and uh, didn't get anywhere. Four and a half minutes left. We're at 2 0. John threatened the footlock, made him sit down, and ended up being on top. That was, that was a good move by John. Like I said, John knows one pace. He's very aggressive, very aggressive fighter. And he loves the toe holds. He loves the straight foot locks. There's the knee bar. Goes for the knee bar. Not really a, a point player, so... This is a position you've you got. Oh, that was close. I want to say... Into the 50-50. I, I, I feel like Mike was really close to tapping on that one. He's still up 2-0. We're at 3.5. John is a very aggressive foot player. That's, that's uh, when I got promoted to brown belt um, and I got introduced to knee bars and, and toe holds. He was just taking my legs like nothing. It completely had to change my game because I was all about the open guard. So let's see how he does now. He's holding on. Still playing on top. Two and a half minutes left, 2-0. John fighting for the underhook, gets the cross face. That's a dominant position right there, but he's trying to get underneath him. He is a lot heavier, so let's see. The winner of the men's senior brown belt. Good job, Mike's going for it. Mike's going for a toe hold too, looks pretty deep. John comes up. John slips out, gives him the two points. So now we're at two and a half. And the world champion is Ferid Kader Atos DJJ. So we're at 2 2. That move, like I said, John doesn't care about points. He was going for the submission. Put him into, uh, might put him into overtime now. A minute, <laughs> John, John's, uh, Welcome back. Mateo's back from his open weight. He's got the uh, bronze medal at the open weight for the bronze. We got John. We got a minute and a half left. John went for a submission that 
you know, cost him the two points, you know. But that's how he plays. Very risky. I saw him go for the Tomonaga to the knee bar. He was close there. So now they're here. Close guard for John Silva. So we got a minute left. John is very comfortable in close guard. Uh, I have a feeling Mike's going to wait it out in a little bit. You can see the size difference. His arms are humongous. His mics. Uh, Hanan's looking for uh, advice. I have a feeling they're going to talk about delaying. I'm curious to see what comes out of this. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like the ref and the scorekeeper seemed a bit confused when John was going for the Peruvian necktie. Yeah. Um, I saw that the points... I think, I think John was confused too. He needs to, he needs to see that it was... Okay, here they go now. So they took away two points. We got to figure out what happened there. John's got the underhook, which way he's going for a pendulum sweep, maybe. No, not from there. Armbar. Playing that high guard on him. I think it's keeping a lot of pressure with that. Does not want to get submitted in the last 10 seconds of the match. I'm curious. It looks like Mike's points were taken away. Uh, we'll have to see yeah, what happened that was, there. That was interesting because somebody should have had points. <laughs> that was a good fight. Like I said, one pace. John's got one pace. Representing Alvin Silva, DJJ Silva. Good match. Let's see if we can get John in there. I see John limping a little bit. I think his foot hurt just as much. Yeah, Mike was going for a toe hold, and I noticed John went straight to defend it. It looked pretty tight as well.